We want to solve the following systems of linear equations by using the method of substitution. Uh, we're going to focus on the second question here. 4x minus y minus 18 equals 0, and 2x plus 3y plus 12 equals 0. Well, the first thing we want to do is isolate one of the variables. In this case, it appears to be easiest to isolate the variable y in the first equation. The reason for that is because I see that there's a um, the y value is most close to being isolated. Um, we have a 4x, a 2x, and a 3y. It appears easiest to isolate this y by simply adding it to both sides. We'll already have the work done. So in this case, just using a little logic, it seems easiest to do that. So um, what we do, we know that 4x minus y minus 18 equals 0. We're trying to isolate the y, so we're going to add y to each side. And that lets us know that 4x minus 18 equals y. We've now solved for y as an expression involving x. What we can now do is substitute that expression for y into the other original equation. See, in this example, we isolated y by rearranging the first equation. That means after we isolate y, we're going to have to sub it into the second equation. So we do that on our next sheet. The second equation reads 2x plus 3y plus 12 equals 0. But we just solve for y. y is equal to the expression 4x minus 18. So this means that 2x plus 3 times 4x minus 18 plus 12 equals 0. We distribute the 3. We get 2x plus 12x minus 54 plus 12 equals 0, which means 14x minus 42 equals 0. We can then isolate the x by adding 42 to each side. We get 14x equals 42. Divide each side by 14, and that gives us x equals 3. At this point, we've only solved for one of the variables. We need to solve for both. So we're going to substitute that value of x into either of the original equations. So I went back to the uh, original equation, the first equation. 4x minus y minus 18 equals 0. Well, we're going to take that x value, sub it in, uh, that x value of 3, sub it in, and we get 4 times 3 minus y minus 18 equals 0, which ultimately means negative y minus 6 equals 0. Solving for y gives us negative 6 equals y. So we've now solved for x and we've solved for y, so we can say that the solution to the linear system is 3, negative 6.